evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. By the grace of God, I have seen many people touched by God in this ministry and I encourage you, my dear friend, to connect in faith. Believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. My dear friend, I've got good news for you. God has steps to overcome every negative environment that you find yourself in. And if you follow these steps, you can overcome any environment that is negative and toxic. Welcome to the Glory Realm, a time that we spend with God. And it's brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to go to the house of the living God. We say we can never go to the house of the living God and come back the same. As you follow God, He changes your life. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, and I'm so happy to be with you today on this wonderful day, this beautiful morning right here in the Windy City, Port Elizabeth. I trust and believe it's a beautiful morning wherever you're watching. And I know like I know like I know, God is going to bless you. God is going to touch you. God is going to heal you. God is going to deliver you from every negative, toxic environment. You know, my dear friend, sometimes it's, it's inevitable. You know, in this lifetime that we live in, in this world that we, we, we are in with the media, uh, pushing out such negative things with the news, saying so many negative things, focusing on the negative. It's inevitable. We're going to come across negative environments. And we can only overcome these negative environments if we follow the Word of God. As born-again believers, our most valuable asset is the Word of God. Hold on to the Word of God and you will be delivered. Hold on to the Word of God and you will come back with a testimony. Hold on to the Word of God and you will know what is from God and what is not from God. Today I want to give you some four steps from the scripture to overcome every negative toxic environment. Step one, my dear friend, recognize that we all fall short of the glory of God. No one is perfect. We all make mistakes, my dear friend. If it's not here that we make a mistake, it will be there. This is why we need the grace of God to help us. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 3 verse 10, the ESV version, it says, as it is written, none is righteous. No not one. Step two, my dear friend, try to avoid getting into negative conversations. Try to avoid getting into negative arguments. My dear friend, a negative environment, a negative toxic environment doesn't just come about. You need to permit it. And you permit it when you accept to talk about negative arguments or negative conversations. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 17 verse 14, in the ESV version, it says the beginning of strife is like letting out water. So quit before the quarrel breaks out. My dear friend, before the environment becomes negative, change the topic or tell the person. If the person doesn't want to stop talking about the negative thing, say, please, I've made a commitment in my life to stay to what is positive. And I feel that what you're talking about is negative and I don't want to become part of that. My dear friend, stay away from people who are talking about negative things. There's some people who criticize the body of Christ. Christians, born again believers, constantly criticizing everything. They criticize everyone but them themselves, they don't do anything. Stay away from such people, my dear friend. Stay away from such people and your life will be blessed. Step three, God is able to give you grace. God is able to change your environment. Understand that if you pray to God, He can change the environment. So sometimes you don't necessarily have to ditch the environment. You can pray, especially when it comes to family. You can pray and God can change your family. Whether it's your spouse or your family or your siblings, you can't just ditch your family. Pray that God can change them and He will. He will release the grace and they will be changed. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 15 verse 5 and 6, the ESV version, it says, May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus, that together you may have one voice and glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, understand that God can give the grace to change your negative environment into a positive one. And the fourth and final thing, the fourth and final step that I want to share with you is that you need to distance yourself from people who don't want to change. When you've spoken and you say change, this is the wrong way and they don't want to change, you need to distance yourself from them. Now this doesn't apply to your spouse or your family members. I mean, my dear friend, if your child is negative, who ditches the child? You can't ditch your child, you can't move away from your child. And when I say ditch someone, I'm not saying 
condemn them to hell or anything like that. No, I'm saying just stand from a distance and pray for them from a distance. Because if you stay close to them, then you yourself will also get corrupted with that negativity. The Bible says in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33, the ESV, it says, do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. So my dear friend, when it comes to other people, apart from your family, apart from your relatives, and they're very negative and they don't want to change, you have to distance yourself from them. Otherwise, you might also become negative. You might also become like them, start spewing out the same negativity that they are. So be careful of that. And if it's your family member that's going the wrong way, possibly they got hurt and they're very negative, don't distance yourself from them, my dear friend. Just pray for them. Pray, as I said in step three, and God will come through for them and they will be changed. But in saying that, let's go into a time of prayer, my dear friend. Let's go into a time when you can just pray, when we can just touch the hem of his garment and God will come through for you. Whatever negative environment you're going through, God will deliver you. God will come through for you. And over and above that, he will give you a miracle. You will know that God speaks and he lives. God is amazing and he's wonderful. Today, touch the hem of his garment. Today, believe in Jesus and your life will never be the same again. In saying that, take your cell phone, your device, go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, just begin to lift up praises to God. Father, you are my Lord. You are my God. You are the God in whom I trust. I just praise you. I just give you all the glory. I just give you all the honor. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for this time that both myself and my dear friend can seek you, can pray to you, can come to you, can come in your presence. Lord, thank you for another day. Thank you for the grace to live another day. Thank you for the grace to press on. Thank you for the grace to push on. Thank you for the grace to keep on keeping on. Thank you for the grace to get out of all negative environments. Thank you for the grace for deliverance, deliverance from all evil, deliverance from all danger. Thank you for the grace for miracles. Thank you for the grace for signs. Thank you for the grace for wonders. Thank you, Lord, for the grace for salvation that is found in Christ. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for everything that you do for us, even the little things, Lord. Today, we just want to thank you. We just want to praise you. We just want to give all the glory where all the glory is due. And it's due to you, Lord God. Lord, both myself and my dear friend, we are in unity. We are in agreement and we seek you, Lord, today. Wherever my dear friend is, we know distance is not a barrier. We thank you in advance, Lord, for touching and changing the life of my dear friend watching this video. We thank you in advance, O oh Lord, and we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, God's presence and power is here. And God's going to touch and change your life. Believe God and you will come back with the testimony. Now let's welcome the Holy Spirit quickly, my dear friend. Let's welcome him in this environment. And even as he comes, he will touch you and change you. Lord Holy Spirit, I just welcome you. Come and take over of this environment where I'm recording and take over the environment where my dear friend is watching. Do what only you can do and do it for the glory of King Jesus. I ask you this in the name of Jesus. Amen. My dear friends, say, Holy Spirit of God, come and take over my environment. Come and take over my environment. Change every toxic environment. Change every negative environment to positive environments full of light and life. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, now we're going to begin to pray. But before we go there, I want to encourage you to do three things. Number one, comment in the comment section and agree with me. There is power in agreement. As you agree, you shall receive your miracle. Number two, if you've got a private prayer request and you want me to pray for you, feel free to go to my website, www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and just click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request and click submit. It's going to come through to me and I'm going to pray for you. The third thing, my dear friend, is if you've got a testimony and you want to share it with your friends and your family around the world, your family in Christ, then feel free to go to my website, www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and just click on testimony or testify. And even as you do so, fill in your testimony, click submit. We're going to review it and then we're going to post it up. But in saying that, let's begin to pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, Lord, give us the grace this morning. Give my dear friend the grace to understand that no one is perfect. To understand that we all fall short of the glory. In one way or another, we all fall short. Lord, help us. Help my dear friend to understand this. Lord, whenever we look at other people and we're tempted to judge, let us understand that we all fall short and no one is perfect. Help us to look at people through love. Help us to look at people through your unconditional love, your agape love. Help us to look at our brothers and sisters around us 
through the lenses of your love. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, help us and give us the grace to recognize where there's a negative toxic environment or negative toxic conversations. And help us, Lord, by your grace and by your wisdom that comes by your Holy Spirit. Help us to recognize these conversations, these arguments, and these environments and avoid them at all means. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we avoid negative environments, fill our hearts with peace and joy. Fill my dear friend's heart with peace and joy. Do what only you can do, O Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, I just thank you. In the environment that my dear brother or my dear sister finds themselves in, Lord, I pray, change that environment for the better. If it's negative, if it's toxic, Lord, by your grace to change environments, change the environment where my dear friend falls, finds themselves in. I ask this in the name of Jesus, and I thank you for it, Lord God. For you are good and your mercy endures forever. Your mercy truly endures forever. And Lord, wherever there's any bad company, we know that bad company corrupts good morals. Lord, I pray, give us the grace to avoid the wrong company. Give us the grace to be the influencers and not to become influenced. Lord, let us influence the other people out there, out in the world, with the way of the light and not be influenced by the way of darkness. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the case where it's family members, siblings or even children that are very negative or parents, help us not to, to simply just ditch them, but to pray for them and to trust you for them. And Lord, help our family members, wherever my dear friend has any family member that's negative, Lord, come through for my dear friend. Lord, touch and change the life of that family member, that that family member won't be negative anymore. I pray this in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the presence and the power of God is here. Now I'm going to speak a blessing over you, and your life will never be the same again. Remember, God is in charge of everything, and He can touch and change your life, and He will do so for the glory of King Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Job, chapter 22, verse 28, You shall decree a thing and it shall be established. I decree and declare you are going up in the name of Jesus. Your family will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Every negative environment where you find yourself in, it shall change to be positive in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let the blessing follow you wherever you go. Let the blessing and the favor of God follow you wherever you go. I decree and declare. The blessing and the favor of God will follow you wherever you go. Your life will never be the same again. Wherever there's any negative family members, they're going to change and become positive. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. And we bind up any spirit causing negativity. And we cast it out right now. By fire and by force with the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. God said it. I believe it. And that settles it, my dear friend. If God says it, then that's enough. And even as we've ended, the sun has come up. Weeping and sorrow may endure the night, but joy comes in the morning. It is a new day, my dear friend. Rejoice. God has blessed you today. Until tomorrow, shalom and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.